In next two minutes, I will tell you everything you need to know about notifications in Filament Admin Panel. First, database notification. For that, you need notifications table, which you can run this command and create that table. It is the default command that comes with Laravel. And next, we need to register this in our admin panel provider. You need to put this line, database notifications, and you may want to put this as well. It will fetch the new database notification every 30 seconds. For most of the case, it is fine. Uh, let's make it two seconds for now. In order to test that, let's go ahead and trigger some notification. So I have one route that will trigger the notification. So it is the test route which gets a authenticated user and we are calling the make method and the sending this title and you need to call send to database and the recipient object. You can trigger this notification from anywhere. Let me trigger this route. You can see here one and we can see the sending test notification. If we need broadcasting feature, what we can do, first go to the Laravel website. You just need to install this client side packages and this for the backend. And just go in your pusher and pull in some, uh, pull in the credentials for the pusher, make the uh, broadcast driver pusher. That's all you need to do in your side. Rest will handle by filament how in config.filament this might be commented on your case just uncomment this line and make sure these credentials are pointing to your pusher credentials let's go to dot env and we need to check that out over here so these are my credentials for pusher and you just need to add these two line once you do that you are all set let's go ahead and trigger the notification to trigger notification i have this route and this time instead of send to database i want to do broadcast so this will broadcast to this recipient now let's go ahead and try this out let me trigger this and see if we get notification there we go we get this notification on real time so this is all you need to know one bonus point if you don't want this so this will fall every two seconds which is uh, not ideal since we have the broadcasting feature we can use that feature for database notification as well so the current uh, limitation is if we send some notification for broadcasting it is working fine uh, let's say we have only two database let's comment this out so now let's see yeah, I have updated it here, but you have to refresh to get this, right? So if you have a broadcasting feature in place, what you can do is you can call this event. Event, this is the event supplied by Filament Admin. And you need to go ahead and let's again trigger the notification. This time, you see, it updated automatically due to this line of code all right so this is all about the notification in filament see you in another video bye